what's up welcome back to a new video today i have with me the new multimedia system from ds 2023 version i'm in ds7 crossback new model facelift and i want to show you how easy it is to connect your iphone is the same way with android phones i will make a video with android as well but today it's about iphone how easy it is to connect with the new ds multimedia system now guys first of all what you will have to have is just uh, your phone connected to the bluetooth so let me go here if you go right here and you activate the, um, the bluetooth let me go to the bluetooth you go to the bluetooth settings and right here on the down part it should show you the uh, car but in order to show you you have to go to the menu if you don't find it in the menu here on the pages you go to application drawer once you are in application drawer you go to mirror screen mirror screen and then connect device uh, you can connect it wirelessly or you can connect it to a cable and here you should see the devices for the moment uh, my device search for the car and probably the car search for device now down here you see the hands free uh, it shows me something and then my ds you see now you press this on my ds down here this is the car it start and try to connect it will ask me dan iphone one connect yes yes confirm the pin confirm the pin on the telephone as well and then allow to see the contacts and then right now it's connecting it's still connecting it's waiting for a second uh, right now it asks you you want to use um apple carplay yes start apple carplay and once you press then it will ask you here you want to use it use apple carplay and then immediately the car asks you to install the application because the car come with an application the ds you can see ds app that you can use it but i don't need that application you don't need to use it if it's not your car so all you have to do is this is all you just leave your phone around here and you're connected and i love the fact that you can see it all over the screen it's a lovely lovely integration uh one of the most beautiful integration that i see uh on a cars and um also what i will show you now you will see how responsive it is it's a big screen large screen everything every single uh, shortcuts here it shows you in a nice nice simple manner and it's crazy responsive it's like it's integrated in the in the car you have whatsapp zoom telegram spotify wherever you have installed it here you can see it right here on the screen and also this is the home screen this is the navigation of the telephone and for example right now you can see the navigation has already a destination here yeah and if it is like um no doesn't go go there uh you see you already have a destination if you go here let me press it like this it will get to the destination but what i want to see guys it's that if we are able to see it also on the screen because many of you ask me you can see it also on the screen and then let's see right now if we can do that navigation here and the question uh, the answer is no uh, this is the navigation of the car it doesn't show you the navigation of the telephone and if I want to delete this one, I don't know how to do that, really, to be honest. Come on, close this. Destination. Come on, close this destination. Yes, now I close it. And you can see it still show me uh, the map because I set on the map uh, a destination on the map of the car. But it's not going to show you on the cockpit. All you have to see, you will see it right here. Uh, you go back to menu from here. You just press this one you go back to menu and also from here you can use the siri voice here it gives you a lot of information about the phone then go to second page you have all the option you can use also the google map you can see the news here um, and also you can use all that application that the car come with so overall it's very simple you can use also the voice command from the steering wheel from here if you press it for three seconds how many degrees are outside today the high temperature today will be 13 degrees Celsius and the low will be minus 2 degrees Celsius. Can you navigate to Barcelona? Getting directions to Barcelona, Spain. 
you can see how simple it is i like that i really really like that and you can choose drive to the closest is charging stations the nearest one i see is simmer zoo vermeaton in bariswal on bernstress in bariswal b want to try that one yes you're at groholstress 11 erton and shambal Navigate there to the closest charging station. The closest one I found is move on industry stress in Musidorf. Want to try that one? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Getting directions to move. Hey, you can see. The next stop is move. How what do you think about that guys? I find it super cool. The voice command, it's, it's working great. And the fact that you can integrate it with this multimedia system, it's just fabulous. And I see some people, some reviewers, quite big reviewers that complain about when you use the Android or Apple CarPlay, you cannot use the climatic system. And how is that? Because you have here button, shortcut button. From here, you can set the climatic system fastest as that if you set it before to automatically for example 22 degrees you just come here poof turn it on and then turn it off and turn it on and then up here you can see all the information of it uh, but if you want to go in the climatic system menu you have here on the right side this shortcut and all you have to do you just freaking press it and not complaining in the reviews you just press it like that and then you just play with climatic system you want to go back you just do it like that you want to go in the multimedia of the car you just press this you're in the multimedia of the car you want to go in apple carplay you just put it here you go in apple carplay so it's that easy right you just have to open your eyes and look a little bit deeper now anyway guys that was the video uh, i hope you enjoy it i hope you find some useful information from the video now if you have other question uh, I wait you down below, write me whatever question, whatever feedbacks you have. Um, I love it. I love the way they integrate it. I love how easy it is. And yeah, I hope the video was useful. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.